Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Clan Scryer going up against uh, Thorgrim Grudgebearer, where we've got a weapons team army, which is usually what people do bring to, uh, to these sort of fights, but it's not the greatest weapons team army, and this dwarf army is beefed up pretty heavily. Loads of experience on all of them. Uh, Thorgrim Grudgebearer is level 40, he's got regeneration, leading me to believe that he must have defeated Isabella at some point. Um, so yeah, very tanky sort of army here, and the biggest problem is actually the terrain. It is a little bit bumpy in this area here, which is where we would normally set up. You don't really want to be setting up over here, because the trees will get in the way, so you know, act as shields for the enemy. But there are a lot of things that we can do here to sort of make better use of our weapons team. Let's just jump into the battle and I'll sort of explain what we're going to do. So, first thing to just comment on, it's an okay weapons team. It's not amazing. Because one Plague Priest is good, but if you really want your weapons team to get maximum efficiency, you got to put in at least two or three, right? Because it's not so much about having extra casts of um, Vermintide, but being able to cast Vermintide more often because there's a fair bit of cooldown. But also, you know, having extra casts of it is very good. Um... Obviously, this one here does seem like it's a pretty low level. Uh, not much you can do about that at this stage. Get it leveled up, that'll help. Um, another thing is a Poison Wind Mortar can go a long way. Can't really tell if the person's got the DLC for it. So if you don't have the DLC, um, Shadow and Blade, obviously you won't be able to get Poison Wind Mortars. But one or two of them in your army, if you're going to go up against Dwarves, will make a big difference. And the next thing here, a lot of people go for Warp Lightning Cannons over um, Plague Claw Catapults, thinking that they're better. They're not, especially against dwarves. Okay, so the thing about warp lightning cannons is that they definitely have their uses, and that's against like large or single entities. That's not what we need here. What we need here is just mass amounts of area effect damage. So, uh, plague claw catapults will inflict way more kills than warp lightning cannons, and they're you know lower tier, so it's easier to get them. So, you would have been so much better off with plague claw catapults. Because here's the thing. If you think to yourself, oh, but what about, what, what's anti-large in your army then, if, if you don't use the Warp Lightning Cannon? Um, rattling Guns and Gisales are anti-everything. Um, if there's any large units coming at you, Rattling Guns and Gisales handle them really well. In fact, I would say that Gisales are better than Warp Lightning Cannons at dealing with things like Gyro Bombers, because they're super accurate. Now, you'll probably notice in this battle here, we'll probably get a few shots in on those Gyro Bombers there, or the Gyro Bomber. Um, it's probably going to miss most of their shots. Warp Lightning Cannons can actually be quite inaccurate. Okay. Now, we're going to set up over here. But we're going to want to stand back a little bit. I'm going to walk through here. The problem here is the trees. And also, you want to stay close to here so they don't surround you. The more they clump up around these sort of areas here, the better. Now, um, warp fire throwers. Good unit, but here's the problem with them. Low range. Um, even at 110 range, that's not particularly high. Um, you can just run into problems with with that, that's all. Not, not a big deal, I'm not going to have a rant about them or anything, because they are good units. I just don't prefer them over... Um, over other units. If you're looking for anti-infantry in your army, Plague Claw Catapults, and then get these ones out, and get some more Plague Priests for, for uh, crowd control. But, I mean, you can argue every which way about what combination of weapons team army to build. At the end of the day, you should build what you feel comfortable with, but this is not what I feel comfortable with, so I'm just making that point. Okay. So we're going to keep our warp fire throwers a little bit ahead of the rattling guns. These guys will probably go into melee at some point. Now, as for the garrison that we've got here, what we want to do with them, not just hold the line because it'll last about one second. What we want to do with them is run through gaps in the enemy forces and confuse them and make them turn their backs to us and um, run the other direction. It's all about buying time for us to use the high-powered ammunition. Um... And inflicting the army losses and trying to you know mitigate as much damage as possible bouncer power is not in our favor we'll probably turn it around fairly quickly but it only takes one unit to like get into our like into our weapons team to really start killing us 
quite quickly because these guys here have absolutely no melee combat potential. And this guy over here, his job is just going to go around the back and annoy the hell out of them. Okay, so you start running. We'll start moving. Start moving back. Uh, we'll put all of our missile units on guard mode. Not essential to do that. Another thing with this sort of map here is you really don't want to issue attack orders with your missile units because oftentimes they're going to be obstructed and if you give an attack order when they're obstructed they'll just move forward which you know isn't ideal so having this guy be Stupidly annoying to begin with is good. Okay, isolated artillery piece. So I think he chose really well with the Warlock Engineer on, um, sorry, Warlock Master on the Doom Flayer. That was a good call. Yeah, they turned back around, but it's just a distraction. That's fine. Oh no, the Warp Lightning Cannon seems to be. No, no, it's missing. Did do a bit of damage. The obstruction there is not great. So look how many units are being tied down over here. That means the units are not coming over here. Problem is though, we're going to need to start microing over there pretty soon. Really damage their units a fair bit there. Watch out, we don't want him taking too much damage. Luckily he's got stalks, so if I want to back off, we'll just go over there for a bit. Alright, now, I'm going to just wait a little bit longer. Okay, start getting around back over here. Uh, actually, go over that one, because that's going to rally soon. Dorgrim's got regen, but we got uh, the Gisales on top of that. That's good. Just let them all fire at will. Okay, now, for these guys here, what we want to start doing is just running around the back of them. Don't engage with them at all. That's it. And have them chase us. I will have it actually. Try to shoot the Jaro Bomber. I need that down. I need you to shatter that or else it's just going to come back. Alright, we got gun. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. That's it. Have these guys just run out that way. Okay, we also need to start using Menace Blows. Ah, uh, Vermintides, I mean. That's it. See how they're going that direction? That's what we want to see. That's it. Keep these units over here distracted. Bouncer power is, like, okay at the moment. Okay, with our Menace Below. Ah, uh, sorry, Vermintide. Um, yeah, just hold them back. God damn, look how fast he's regenerating. Five fucking guns there. Okay, the organ guns are off the guns, so it's as good as gone for them. This guy's distracted a little bit more. Okay, I need... Oh, God. Fucking Thorgrim. Keep these guys running out that way. See, keep running, keep running. Okay, let me move back a little bit. Popping down minutes below is behind them can be really handy. Oh god, you're not able to shoot him properly from there. Run run towards their forces in that direction. Now, bouncer power is in our favor, but it can very easily turn around quickly. Oh my god, are you not shooting? Come on, man, shoot. Fuck hell. Like I said, or well, even like the guy said, terrain here is not good. Okay. Try to navigate them around. Okay, now, now because we didn't have that much of a front line, this is where things really sort of get messy. Yeah, we, we are for the most part. Oh my god, look how quickly they just wreck our weapon teams here. Can't keep that one just running back. I feel like our weapon seems aren't oh, fucking shooting at all. Can I get 
Get them over here. Draw Thorgrim away if you can. You try to get back if you can. This guy here, just try to get him out of that before he gets wiped out. That's it, he was just getting caught. Okay, bring Thorgrim, uh, bring them back over here, the rattling guns. Get back. You turn around over there, try to hit Thorgrim. Mount of Power is okay, but still, we are taking some serious damage. Pull them back. Okay, good. We've got Thorgrim sort of pinned down there. He's fighting a Gisele unit. Oh well. He's got to fight something, I suppose. Watch out with that. Get him out of there. Okay, last cast of this, and then get out of there before you get killed. Menace below, just keep that one pinned down for now. Thorgrim's just about gone down. Get over here, gotta get over that hill if you want to shoot at him. Yeah, you just get back over there, that's fine. I don't think any of our units have been wiped out so far. Thorgrim's doing a bloody number on us. This guy has got no more summons left, but I've still got one more menace below. Come on. Come on, you're not obstructed. He's bigger than you. Okay, last one of these. Let's hope it counts. And I'm going to pop these down on them to slow them down. Okay, cool. We got rid of Thorgrim. Turn back around over here. Okay, can move that one back up a bit. Um, okay, you got dudes chasing you. Try to get out of there. Oh man, those rangers just have all their ammo. Uh, run back. Run back. You, you should be able to outrun them. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's gonna hurt. Make sure nobody's like standing the wrong way. Alright, I'm out of crowd control. Uh, you know, you gotta get back over there. God, he's, he can't hold much longer. These hammerers are really hitting hard. Bounce of power still in our favor, but they are getting closer. War planning. Okay, there we go. There's the army losses. All right, I don't think any of our units got wiped out, and as long as that's what happened, then we should be okay here. But yeah, some of the early distractions made a really big deal. We just ran out of of distractions. We used up every single menace below, every single vermintide. Um, It's kind of good that the Skaven missile units have such low leadership because you kind of want them to leave the battlefield in some cases. Rather than actually get wiped out. I'm, I'm fairly sure none of our units got wiped out. Ah, uh, yeah, not important, whatever. And yeah, try, try to uh, kill as many of them as we can. Yeah, you can see there, they were in range, but they just get obstructed. That's why you don't necessarily want to give the um, um, attack orders. Just give them move orders instead. Right. Yeah, no units got wiped out. It's just that he was in red in terms of food, so they were naturally going to run away. And Thorgrim's been wrecked. It didn't really matter that much about whether or not we wounded him. Because he's already at max experience anyway. But at least you're not going to see him for a few more turns.
But yeah, that terrain was definitely a pain in the ass. Yeah, the Warp Lightning Cannons, don't get me wrong. They did a good job, but they used up all of their ammo. If you have a look at the damage deal, it wasn't that high. I can tell you right now, if we had switched these out for Plague Claw Catapults, the enemy army probably wouldn't have gotten close to us. Alright, I think we'll go with Replenishment there. Because he walked into that battle with 19 units. But yeah, having him go around the back of the army and keeping, I don't know, four or five of their units just constantly busy, that made a big difference. And as I've always said, when you're playing a Skaven, you really need to try to be the attacker as much as possible. Don't let yourself get attacked. I very rarely even see that map when I play Skaven because I'm just not defending my cities. <laughs> I'm attacking constantly. Even if my cities come under siege, I would sally out and try to stop them, even if you're going to take a defeat. Always be the attacker. This game rewards extreme aggression. It doesn't reward passive play. But, you know, as Skaven. But yeah, it's not like the, that weapon steam army is bad. It, it is good, it's just that it can be better. Alright, so having a little look over here, you're in reasonable shape. Not perfect. Um, can easily finish that off there. And everything else is looking okay. Barak Var. Alright, so you're capturing settlements at low tier. Since you've got a maximum capacity of a thousand, um, it might be better to let them take it and then push it back up to tier 5 or lift the siege, abandon it, and then push it up to tier 5. Because it's just so much more valuable to you than a whole bunch of tier 1 settlements. Yeah, you're just building these up naturally without spending your food. Which makes me wonder, if you're not spending your food on that stuff, then how are you so low on food? Especially with it minus 11. What edicts are you using? Are you using, using that? No, man. Look, what do you need public order for? Look, you're at 46. Switch it to food. 100 public order. Switch it to food, for fuck's sake. 100 public order. Switch it to food. Fuck me, man. You're missing out on so much food. Yeah, this one here, switch it to food. Fucking hell. 100 public order. Yeah, no, that, was, that was fine. Nearly 100 public order. Fucking food, man. You're missing out on loads and loads of food. Holy shit. Anyway, whatever. It's your campaign. You do whatever you want with it. But I tell you, you can generate... I mean, look how much territory you've got. How many of these these provinces? Oh, my God. Just Like, half of them are the wrong edict. Switch your damn edict, man. Duh, look at the public. What do you need that for? Switch it to food. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time, fuckers.